Hey guys, today I am gonna show you how you can unroot your Nexus 5X and get it back completely to stock using a toolkit. Okay, so before we begin, this will only work on Windows uh, because it requires a toolkit that just makes things a lot easier that only works on Windows. Also, this will wipe your device, so make sure that you back up everything that you need, photos, contacts, etc. Once you're ready though, we're gonna download the toolkit by clicking on this link here beneath the video and clicking download from here and saving that to your desktop. Then you're going to need to enable USB debugging on the phone. So pull down the notification, tap the top, tap settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll all the way down to build number and keep tapping it until it tells you a developer. Hit back, hit developer options, and just make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Next, you're gonna plug the phone into the computer via USB. It doesn't come with a USB-C to USB mail plug, uh, USB 2.0 or USB-A. Uh, so you're gonna have to probably buy one of those on the internet unless you just have a really new computer that has USB-C ports, you lucky person you. Um, so if you do need one of those uh, cables that allows you to connect this to your computer, you can click the link below to be taken to one that I found. Otherwise you can search the internet for it. And once you have it, we're gonna plug the phone in to the computer. Now if you get a pop-up that says allow this computer, check always allow and click okay, and then we can continue. If you have any issues uh, with ADB, you can click this link here to be taken to my video tutorial. Do that, it's really quick, and then come back here to continue. Okay, then we can right click our toolkit that we downloaded and hit run as administrator. Click install, wait for it to install. Then open up the toolkit, and you're gonna choose the device that you have. So we have the 5X, uh, and then the build, which you can find in uh, settings and about. So I have this one, I'm gonna click that, click apply, click okay, and eventually your toolkit will open. So what I'm gonna do is click this here, flash stock and unroot. I'm gonna say the device is on because it is, but if your device is for some reason in a boot loop or can't turn on very well, uh, you can do that option instead. So I'm gonna do this though, flash stock and unroot, click okay. I'm gonna choose that automatically for me, automatically download, don't really change any of these. Click OK, and wait for it to download that. Once it's done rebooting your device, it's gonna give you a warning, you're gonna click OK. And then you can watch all the text appear as it does its thing. When it's done, you'll eventually get this message, which you can click OK to, and you can close that, and the phone will be back to uh, its factory state here. So you can go through the set up process really quick so that we can do the next step of actually relocking the bootloader. So now we need to re-enable USB debugging so that we can finish and relock the bootloader. So we're gonna tap uh, on settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll all the way down to build number, keep tapping it till it says your developer, hit back, scroll down and tap on developer options, tap USB debugging back on, click okay. When this pops up, hit always allow and okay. And back on the computer, we can now relock the bootloader. Now this is optional. Right now you are stock. Uh, you have stock recovery, stock, stock system, everything is stock, um, but your bootloader is still locked. So if you try to send in for warranty or anything like that, they're gonna know. Uh, so what you can do is you can actually relock that and this will be back to completely factory spec as in the way it was when it first came out of the box. So to do that with the phone still plugged in and now USB debugging enabled, I'm gonna click OEM lock. Then I'm gonna click OK. And then on the phone, it's gonna ask you if you wanna relock the bootloader. Uh, this will erase everything, just so you know, but we're gonna use the volume buttons to select and power to actually choose. So volume up to hit yes, and then power. And it should reboot and no longer have the unlocked logo on the boot screen. And once that's done, it'll reboot another time and you're back to the setup screen. You can either go through this and you're now back to completely stock, or you can leave it like this if you're planning on selling the phone. Enjoy. There you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos on how to get the most out of your tech, please subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow me on any of the number of the social networks at dkogan or at the unlocker. And as always, thanks for watching.